Hey all, uh, this video I'm going to talk about uh, backing up your Ubuntu, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, whatever, or your Linux, basically, uh, installation uh, using a backup utility, a free backup utility called Clonezilla. You've probably heard of it before, but I'll just go through the steps. So we'll uh, search the web for it, and it's clonezilla.org, as you can see here at the top. And uh, just read about the, the its features and uh, some of the limitations, which are uh, to be expected. Uh, but it's it's very it's a very very good uh, backup, free backup solution for Linux. So go to downloads on the left here, and pick the latest one, stable release. Now um. The latest one is 32-bit, uh, so that's the one I've chosen for this because I just installed the 32-bit version of Ubuntu. However, if you go to the uh, more folders here, there's a 64-bit right here. It's not very big, 119 megabytes, and this one's 136. So once you have that downloaded, you can either burn it to a CD-ROM, or if you have DVD-ROMs only, whatever, or to onto uh, bootable uh, zip USB drive, sorry. So I'll close this down. And uh, for the purposes of, of this uh, demonstration, I made a dedicated partition. I go to System Monitor, File System, right here, um, Backup. Okay. Now this doesn't have very much on it, as you can see. Very low use, uh, hard drive usage. So, we're going to use this as the backup partition to back up the system. And I'm going to back up the root and the home. If you notice, the type is extension 4, and this one is XFS. It will handle those types as well. So, with that said, I'll go to my uh, virtual machine devices and load Clonezilla Live CD, disk, whatever. And it just alerts me that it's found a new CD-ROM. So we'll just go to Reboot. Okay, we're at the Clonezilla uh, screen. So the first option should be fine. The Clonezilla Live. Okay, and uh, pick your language. Um, U.S. English. Don't touch the key map, in my case. Uh, start Clonezilla. The device image, yes. Uh, use a local um, device. You have other options for uh, network and uh, basically network. Okay. Uh, or the shell. Sorry. Okay. So anyway, local disk. And if you're using a USB, to, yeah. Okay. So just press enter. And it's examining the partitions. So SDA7 is the one we want to back up to. As you can see here, I'll zoom it in. SDA7. That's the one we want to back up to. So you're always, actually, when you restore or back up, you, you pick the one that you're backing up or restoring from. It's always going to be the same. So in this case, it's SDA7 to back up and to restore to be SDA7 again, partition, as Linux sees it. Okay, so press enter. Top directory. Press enter to continue. We'll leave it at beginner mode. And we want to save disk parts, okay? Not, uh, we're not saving a whole, uh, hard drive, just the disk partitions, basically. So, make sure that's selected with the up and down arrow keys here. Press OK. And give it a name, um, uh, I'll call it Zubuntu. Zubuntu underscore, uh, what's this, 1204. That's the version. Press Enter. And this screen, it's asking you what you want to back up. So the first one is SDA1, sorry, and that's extension 4, as you can see. So you press the space bar, and then you make this red thing um, in the brackets uh, with a little asterisk there. And we're going to also back up the home partition. This might be excessive in some cases, but 
if you have enough space, back them both up. If not, then uh, at least back up the system drive. Then when that's ready, just press enter for OK. And we can skip. Best way to check your image is just restore it right away. Or try to restore it. And if it doesn't uh, work, then you know the image is no good. You have to try again. So anyway, press Y to answer yes. And it's going through its backup process. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. It says uh, extended file system. And it gives you the time remaining, the rate, gigabytes per minute, and the percentage. So I'll let that go and then uh, come back when it's ready. Okay, the root drive just finished. Now it's uh, cloning the uh, XFF. There's not much on there, so it'll just... Uh, there, it's done. <laughs> it cloned already. It backed up the partition, in other words. Okay, uh, press enter to continue. And I'll ask you what you want to do. In this case, we're just going to reboot. So we'll ch uh, press uh, 1. Type in the number 1. Press enter. And I'll give it a 5 second countdown to reboot. And it'll ask you to remove any CD-ROMs if you have them. So I'll just check up here just in case. Devices. Nothing's mounted. So I'll just press enter. Now we're back at the login screen, so uh, just uh, log in, of course. And we'll check our file system. And we'll go to the file system on the left here. And there's the partition there, it's called backup. And there's the image just made, the Mundu underscore 1204. And it's not very big. One gig. Okay. So let's do some damage the fun part. Um, let's unhide stuff and say if, uh, I don't know, somebody comes over and decides to be mean to you, we'll start deleting stuff and uh, local config and oh, where'd our stuff go? Okay, let's delete some other stuff. Pulse. Let's delete Mozilla. I'll just continue deleting stuff and then uh, we'll get ready to reboot to restore this. And But, um, Anything I'm doing here it won't, doesn't do too much damage as far as the system goes, but I'll probably lose a lot of stuff. Okay, uh, so I think I've done enough damage. Uh, make sure you don't, uh, well, you can't actually have to take ownership of the backup anyway. Just don't delete that anyway, because then uh, you'll have a lot of problems if you don't have a, your backup. So um, I've completely messed up my configuration. So let's go to devices again. I'll mount the Clonezilla. It's mounted, so same routine, we'll just reboot, and uh, we should boot into Clonezilla. Same thing, defaults, wait for it to load. Okay, everything's going to be the same. So, same drill. And as I mentioned before, whatever you back up, or restore from is going to be the same one, so it'll be SDA7 in this case, so press enter for OK. Okay, in this case, we're going to go to expert mode, just for basically a, a couple of things. Um, well, we're going to restore parts, for one. This is not expert mode, this is still simple, right? We're not going to restore a disk, we're going to restore parts, okay? So press enter. And you're going to choose which one. Uh, the one I made just now is Zubuntu underscore 1204, so that's the one we want. Press enter for OK. And which ones do we want to restore? The two that we made before. Again, now we're in the expert mode, so-called. Uh, reinstall grub. Uncheck that, OK? And try to resize the file system to fit the... Put no, uncheck that. Uncheck that. Oop, I'm sorry. Got an arrow down to uncheck that. And that's about it. Everything else is fine. Press enter. Uh, that first option. Um, what do we want to do when it's done? We'll do a reboot. Press enter to continue. Are you, now it's going to ask you twice, actually. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Are you really sure, basically? Yes. Because it'll be everything be lost, which... 
in our case, uh, it's fine because we want to restore what we, the damage we did. So again, it's doing the same thing, but just restoring. Okay. And as you see here, start restore image. Time remaining, the same thing, gigabytes per minute and a percentage. So I'll let this go again. Okay, the uh, system has been restored. Now it's going to do the home partition, which will only take a second or so, and that's done. Okay. And um, we're just going to reboot when it's uh, finished. And the five second countdown. And we'll make sure our device is unmounted. Back at the login screen again. We'll log in. If you notice down at the bottom, everything's back as before. Um, I'll go to the uh, home directory. And all the files that I had deleted are back. And uh, control H to unhide them. Everything's back the way it was. So we've successfully backed up and restored um, our installation. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.